guys, welcome to Flow 13. In this video, I am going to begin working on um, loops. So, loop one, we can hear our label that's soft. We also have the hard loop, um, but you can hear in the beginning, they have the soft loop, and uh, I have it as continuing, you know, and coming in and out, in addition with, uh, and uh, you know, do I know exactly what they did? No. But let's listen to this soft loop and hear if we can come up with something similar. Sorry. So, we hear this loop is a, a four measure phrase, and um, I don't know where they got it from, but we've been using the think break, so let's um, open up the Akaiser, let's open up uh, Open up a think break. And let's hear if we can uh, do something with it. So let's hear how it goes. <laughs> See, the thing is, there's a lot of, um, There's a lot of vocal samples in there. I'm thinking, like, do they use the almond break? Is that the almond break? Yeah, there's really, an, it, it, I mean, it very well could be. You know, I'm not a professional junglist, but let's see what happens if we um, speed it up some. It sounds closer than the other one. I don't really think we're going to get. So now the main thing is uh, trying to figure out the tempo. So. Whoa. What was the other one? Um, I moved it, but I think it was in downloads. Um, I had the one we used was. Um, Eighty-three percent. Oh, but it's a different. It's a different song. So we're gonna have to just do a little experimentation. Um, let's just loop this. And you know, do we need to come up with the exact same break? Obviously not. Um, I'd rather not. Um, but I am gonna use theirs as a template. So again, let's uh, let's hear what they're working with. We can even, um, we can just, um, that sounds a little fast. 
fast. position. They usually pitch, I think, their things up like one or something, not too much. sounded right to me. Um, let's hear how that sounds with ours. I think it sounds pretty good. So I'll save my file. So that's it for the Akaiza right now, and uh, so I'll come here to desktop and import, and let's see if we can get some useful chops out of here. You know, I could use, I could possibly use the... Possibly use um, the new features in a, the the sampler. laugh if like people were like good at this and like dude you're so slow <laughs> simpler since it has the new um, slicing functions in it so I'll just turn this off for now make sure it's not looped what okay oops and let's hear what we have Again, I've never used the this function in here, but oops, my keyboard's really far away. thing is, is, um, I don't think that, uh,
It seems a little more useful, but still, uh... I want to hear how they're breaking up their stuff, because, um, like, in, for example, these, uh, these hard loop variations, they're, uh, they're broken up into, um, little pieces, like one measure pieces, and they're actually kind of hard to hear, but... I just have the, the basic patterns. They didn't actually just program the individual hits in. Say something like that. I mean, I could probably come up with breaks like that, so uh, I guess let's just start making a, a MIDI pattern and um, start putting pieces in. Thank you. 
and then I just keep going like that. Um, I might not like make all these loops on camera. I might just like take a break from making the videos and let you guys know what I have because this seems like it's going to be somewhat of an intricate process. Um, It's like because it's not just like on the on the beat there. I mean, there's definitely a lot of cool stuff you can do. It's like... That's pretty good. And then there's. I mean, obviously, we could do some EQ and shit to make it uh, a little, a little nicer. But I, you know, I don't really know all these jungle rhythms and stuff. But let's see if we can do the next one. Cause that's pretty close.
It's pretty close, so let's listen to a phrase now. And then, I mean, you know, maybe with some uh, little adjustments, maybe we, we got a basic rhythm. Um, you know, that's just the raw loop. So here's theirs. So they do snare. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to do some filtering and stuff to to make it sound nice. But um, but let me try to get the second half. I I should be able to do it in like a minute or so, and um, you know, just to uh, So they're definitely using like different types of, uh, they process different snares differently. I mean, they put some serious work into it.
see they definitely edited some of them, edited some of them to be tighter. So I, I can't, with the chops that I have, I can't complete the phrase, so I think the best thing for me to do is sort of listen to how they chopped up their, their break. Um, they processed them differently, obviously, like if you come over here. See, here, like, here, here are those first two snares. And then, yeah, like these first two snares. Those, these two are sharper than these. And yeah, this, this phrase might actually even be longer than I thought, so it might just be an entire 8-bar um, loop. And um, yeah, so I'm going to have to, I'm not going to make a video on it. I might make a video and show you what I did, because it's going to be tedious, and um, I need to concentrate. But yeah, so that was me selecting the island break. You can hear kind of what needs to be done, setting up the MIDI track and stuff, and uh we're going to have to just go through into this, you know, and um, I don't know if I can process these slices individually or like um, break them up into a, a drum rack somehow, which would probably be better. Um, so yeah, I guess in the next video what I'll do is I'll show you how I process the individual hits to um, make them useful, make them sonically diverse. And uh, hopefully by then I'll have a couple um, different variations because like the last thing I'll show you is that um, like they have this basic variation which obviously um, is different than I thought. Um, but then they also have these different variations of the harder loop and then they don't really correspond with the, well I call it the baby sound but it's, it's I guess a sped up portion of the thing break. So these are all like 8 bar phrases but um, they just have little differences, so I put those details in there to keep myself organized. So yeah, eight bar phrases, guys. See you in the next one.